Kill us, man. I need you to survive the night. And so the movie Detroit is about an incident that happened in the 1960s revolving around police officers and some young black people. Where police officers are taking it upon themselves to get information out of these young black folks in order to push forward their racial agenda. Now, just like with every movie, it has its good and its bad, so let's start off with the good. This is a movie that had incredible acting all around. When it came to the characters, everybody did good. You felt engaged in the situation and every emotion that was coming out of each character in this movie. From just John Boyega to Anthony Mackie, from Will Poulter. I mean, everything, whether it's sadness, anger, you feel it in the movie, it comes out. As well as the tone, the tone is very dark. It does a good job with having you feel the tension that's going on with the situation in front of you. And I think it does a good job with handling how racism is and how it was back in the day and all that stuff. I felt like it did a really good job with how they portrayed it on screen. One of the things that I didn't like about it was... It took a long time to get to the main characters. It starts off basically going through like the backstory of certain things that happened up in uh, Detroit around that time. You get introduced to certain characters, but they don't play a key role later in the film with the actual main characters. It takes almost until the second act to where we get introduced to John Boyega's character. And one thing is the length. If a movie is good, you don't feel the length. If a movie is bad, you feel the length. I'm not saying that this movie is bad, but it was a bit longer than what it needed to be. And I think getting to the main characters late did kind of hinder it a bit because you didn't know who the film was focusing around, who was the subject of it. Like, you know, you really didn't know too much revolving around that. I think if this movie was cut down to just about two hours, it could have benefited more from it than just taken away from it. So what would I get this movie? I give it an 8. I really did enjoy this movie. I think it did a good job of what it was trying to convey. And one of the things, I don't think too many people are going to like this movie. But I know a lot of people are going to like it. Whether you're on the side of whether they depict it right. Whether they got certain situations right. Because I know a lot of people probably did a lot of research in this. And they probably think like Catherine Bigelow. She didn't get this right. She didn't add that into the film. Or she didn't get that correct. Or she didn't capture what it was actually like in the 1960s. I just feel like, just see the movie. If you like it, you like it. If you didn't, you didn't. A lot of people are going to be on opposite sides of it. I mean, to me, I enjoyed it. And I think that you should go ahead and check it out whenever you can. So this has been my take one movie review of the movie Detroit. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.